So everyone, I'm down here at uh, Google HQ and because I came down to ask my, for my live how they have responded is that they have now removed both of my channels. So these people are protecting paedophiles at every single turn. Um, this proves to me that they are engaging in wholesale censorship breaching my right to free speech and protecting corrupt people, corrupt members of the elite. So I think we're reaching a turning point in Ireland now. This is a turning point. If people do not come down here this evening to defend the work that I have been doing, to stand up against the corrupt evil people that work in this building they shut down my channel because i expose them for what they are i expose them for the fact that they asked me to hide this face to hide this beautiful face that's what they asked They've terminated my channel. They've terminated both of my channels. My Mary Boyle documentary has had more than a million views and they have taken it off now. But we knew that this day was coming. In response to my appeal to them to make sure that I could live stream again, that's all I wanted, they removed my video about the fact that Catholic sites are being attacked in Ireland. They removed my video about a paedophile gang rapist. That's what they did. That's what they did. And these are incredibly dangerous people. There's no doubt about it. We are down in Barrow Street and I'm asking the Irish people to come down here. If you want the corruption to continue, if you want companies like this to continue interfering in elections, companies like Facebook, Google and Twitter, all of whom are headquartered in Ireland because okay, yeah. they know that this is the cesspit of corruption and paedophilia in Europe, in the West. They know that no country, no country will defend paedophiles and the corrupt elite more than Ireland. That's why they chose to come here. That's why they chose. I have told them that if anything happens to me while I am here, standing here, they will be held responsible. This man over here, this man over here is part of it. This guy here is part of it. You know now that not only have I lost my live streaming facility, but both of my channels have been removed, which are devoted to exposing corruption. You're the representative. What have you got to say about that? What a day this is for Ireland. You see this child? You see her duping delight. Do you see this child's face? She was raped and murdered at the age of six. And Google told me to remove her picture. Why are you walking so fast? Now, I want my channels restored. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. This is the person 
He's been here every single time. He pretends to be a good guy. He pretends that he's, you know, on the right side, but he's not. These two will not let me in. They will not let me in. And these people in here have closed up. They're all on the phone. They should be looking very worried because this is only going to backfire in their faces. It's actually wonderful in a way that they've finally done what they've wanted to do for a long time and that is shut me down completely. Shut me down completely. Silence me completely. That's what they have wanted to do for a very long time and now they have done it. So there's no more YouTube. There's no more Google. They interfered in the abortion referendum. As a result, 900 babies murdered every month in this country. They helped to bring abortion to Ireland. No matter where you stand on abortion, they have no right to be meddling. They have no right to be meddling in elections. They helped to bring abortion to Ireland. And they laugh. They laugh because they have no hearts. Because they work for the most immoral company that was probably ever created. And that's saying something. For so many years, three years, they pushed the line that the Russians had interfered in the American elections. They pushed that line again and again and again, when in fact they were the people interfering in elections. They were the people. Google, watch, read about Project Veritas, and the people who did that brilliant reporting which exposed how Google interfere in elections, were met by President Donald Trump last week in the White House and they have been celebrated. No matter where we stand on Donald Trump, he is the most powerful man in the world. And he celebrated the people who have exposed this corrupt company for interfering in the elections of sovereign states. Our constitution protected the unborn child. Google came into our country and they interfered with the referendum to remove the protection of the unborn child. That is the filth that they are. That is the filth. That is the evil of this company. And because I have taken them on at every single turn, they have silenced me. But we have seen how censorship always backfires on those involved in the censorship. We know that. Censorship is fascism. Silencing the right of a journalist to report on corruption and paedophilia is fascism in its purest form. And I don't mind that this guy here is recording me. I don't mind. I don't know what he's up to, but let's get him on camera. Let's get him on camera. Oh, he's got a lovely unicorn. Imagine that, aren't you great? You can fill him away, you don't frighten me. This place is degenerate to the core. It feels evil. It feels evil down here. 
So, if you want to take on evil, now is the time. Get down here. It's half past six. I am demanding that Google restore my channels. That is all. That is all. It is not a lot to ask. Please stop what you are doing and come down to Google headquarters. Fanula Meehan is the person responsible. Fanula Meehan, remember her name. Rotten to the core. Silencing a journalist who stands up against paedophilia. The destruction of children's lives. Fanula Meehan, head of Google Ireland, the European headquarters, Middle Eastern headquarters, African headquarters. No company engages more in censorship. No company is more fascist than this one here. No company. I will defend my right to free speech. I will defend it. I will continue to speak out against corruption and when they silence me, all they do is make my voice and the voice of others louder and stronger. That's what censorship does. That's what censorship has always done. We are facing so much evil. We're facing so much evil. It's hard to actually take in the evil that this company is involved in. Protecting the killer and rapist of this little child. This child. That is what they have done. Every single one of them who work for this company, Google, are part of the protection of this child's killer. These are the facts. There's no other way to say it. While they stand by Google, they stand by paedophilia, they stand by child killers, and they are part of a fascist organization. They are collaborators. They have collaborated in the manipulation of the Eighth Amendment referendum. That's what they did. Project Veritas is very clear about that. Project Veritas, who was celebrated in the White House last week. I have tried to write to them, they will not answer. They shut down my video about Catholic statues being beheaded, where I also referred to a gang rapist who was a paedophile. And my channel was getting way, way, way too many views. My channel was getting way too big. Thousands of supporters a day, new subscriptions, 1,000 a day I was getting. And they came along and they said, no, we have to shut her down. 1,000 subscriptions a day I was getting and Google ordered the shutdown of my channel. That's what they did. That's what they did. I hope people will come down here and stand up for what is right.